saw this and it's just a great, perfect example of when you have the freedom to do what you want and when you don't listen to the crazies on Twitter. On the left here, you have TV. And this is the new, this is the actual Batwoman TV show. This is the CW putting CW money behind a property that they decided to, to grab hold of and do something with. And they wanted to push out this woke, checkbark, checkbox marked, uh, we got to tick every single uh, good thing about it to evade, to not make money, to avoid the Twitter mob. And that's the entire purpose of that. We now have a new Batwoman who is black. Not because people asked for a black one, black Batwoman, but because 12 psychopaths on Twitter are demanding it. We have to appease these 12 retards on Twitter who are going to scream, yell, and start calling our work and try to get us fired. Who are going to start a hate campaign. Whereas you've got the other side here... <clears throat> which we're going to call the pros, because I can't actually say that word on the internet. <laughs> because I, YouTube, will, YouTube will, will censor the crap, will probably either take the video down or they'll, they'll slow it down. And I want people to see this video. But we'll say the pros here go in and they're like, okay, what makes money? How could we do this? You know that, you know these guys over here on the right, they went out there, the whole pitch meeting was the guy walked inside with a bunch of printouts of fan fiction, sexy fan fiction, dropped it right on the desk and said, why are we not taking advantage of this? Why are we not making money off of this? We own this industry. We should really take advantage of this right now. That There's a market here and we can do it. We can. There's a market looking for a service and we can provide it. Okay, and they are providing it. But not only are they providing it, they understand who the audience is. See, on the left over here, and this is amazing, I love this picture because it's like perfect. On the left side over here, you have left side politics, folks. On the left side over here, you have, oh, we're going we're gonna to check boxes. We're going to be political. We're going to make sure we don't offend a single person. We're not going to make a, we're going to make sure the suit looks so functional. It, it's basic. We're we're gonna we're gonna take the original Kate Kane chick who was white and we're gonna make her a black chick because that'll make us so stunning and brave, and then she can be yes slay queen. And on the right over here, it's okay. What do we know about our audience that we're trying to get? Okay, we we understand that they're very anal about canon. We know they want the characters to look like they do in the comic books, and we know that. They like sexy characters. All we're going to do is the same thing that has been working for the comic industry that the comic industry isn't doing anymore. And we're just going to dial the sexy up to 11. Okay? <laughs> That's basically the mentality here. And when people come in, and, and here, here's the other difference. When the left side comes in here and says something about this, when they do all this nonsense, the crazies on Twitter come out and go, you will do this or else we'll start a hate campaign. And they're like, oh, yes, bow down to the mass. Yes, massa. Yes, massa. Would you like Would you like some extra chocolate sauce on that, massa? Okay, okay. No vanilla ice cream for you, massa. We know, massa. You don't like no vanilla ice cream. Whereas you, you get over here on the right side, it's like, we will start a hate campaign if you don't stop doing this. And what do they say? The pros go, when it stops making money, we'll stop doing it. <laughs> like, damn it's it's amazing to me how you have all these people who do pretty much the same i mean and, and let's let's be frank here okay the pro industry they do just as much if not more market research they spend just as much money in the uh, in market in, in market research on what it is they're looking at so that they can get the product out there and get as many people in as possible. That's their concept. They're not worried. Unlike the other side, who's looking for a very niche, tiny audience. The left side of this is looking for a very niche, tiny audience of 
approved customers who have the right politics and the right way of saying, and if you're a Trump supporter, we don't want you buying our product. Yes, they have actually said this before in real life. I'm not joking. Okay, I'm not joking. Whereas the other side is like, we have to get as many people as possible. We don't care who they are. We don't care their political leanings. We don't care what they've got tattooed to their neck. We don't care what they look like. If they're buying our product, we're okay. We don't care. We're making bank, and that's what we want to make. It, it's as I said. It this is this picture is just a perfect representation of how the current comic industry and how the current entertainment industry is going right now. I mean, you've got what is it? You got Tomb Raider, who back in the day had bazookas and a peach and was good looking to now she's almost flat chested and, and, and so dang dark. There's nothing fun about it. They don't want to be fun. They want to, Oh, we got to make this dark and brooding and yada, 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 yada. We can't have any real fun with it. Take the Nathan Drake series. For instance, the first three games are really good and really fun to play. The fourth game goes off in this weird direction where it's not a whole lot of fun because Nathan Drake is a pansy who gets his ass handed to him by a 150-pound black chick. Him and uh, him and uh, his... Uh, who is his other guy? It's not Wiz. It's not Ross. I completely forgot that guy's name. Dude with a cigar. Real fan, fans, of the, fans of the series will see it. Real fans. I played through the games. Most people probably are way bigger fans than I am, and I'm willing to admit that. But you got two full-grown men who have fought uh, looters, pirates, mercenaries. I think in the first game they fought zombies. And they're, you're sitting there telling me, oh, uh, these guys can get their asses handed to them by a hundred and five, well, like, like a 90-pound black chick. It's just tossing them around the room like she's... Freaking Hulk Hogan? No, I don't think so. But like I said, you you want to see there there's an old saying within the within entertainment. There's an old saying in business. It still rings true today, just like it did back in the old days. The customer is always right. Don't listen to the harassment people. You need to listen to the customer. The customer is who who matters. If they're buying your product then you need to you need to listen to them. If you're making money, then you don't need to listen to someone coming in there and saying, look, if you go over here, if you take this this picture you have on the right and you make it look more like the picture on the left over here, we'll make it look like the TV picture. Uh, you'll make more money. When you're already making a crap ton of money, don't listen to that person. You need to ask them very carefully, what is your credentials? What have you done? Oh, well, I have a gender studies degree. We're not listening to you. We're not listening to you at all because you don't have any experience in the field. We are making money because this is what's worked. All right. When y'all, when, when people are out there saying, do we need to put sexy chicks in their, in their, your comic book? Or do we need to put sexy, you know, masculine looking men inside of our video games? Hell yeah, you do. Because that's what people want to see. The vast majority of people, see that the thing about the left of this is they want to be the louder voice. So they scream really loud. They do this because they're trying to drown out anyone else who will descend, who will cause any dissension. Uh, and and they're, what they're talking about. And the reason that they do this, like I said, they want to drown out everyone else because they want to sound like they're the, they're the only group out there. They want to create all this outrage. That's why they create these harassment campaigns and everything else. And they create this, oh, we're going to call your business and we're going to get you fired. And then they start calling and harassing the people that are up there. Because they want you to fear them. Because it's the only way they can sell a product. They have to go in there and threaten you into buying their product. If you don't buy our product, you're a bigot. Well, I'm sorry, that's a threat. And in the pro industry here, when have they needed to threaten anyone? When has the pro industry come out and said, if you don't watch... um? 
this uh, video that we've got out here, because I'm not going to get the detail, but I mean, but use your imagination. If you if you don't watch this video that we got out here, um, you're a bigot. Get out here and watch our stuff. Look at these powerful women, you know, um, going in here. Look at these um, self-employed women, you know, using what they got to make money. Uh, you should you should watch this. They don't do that because they know what they're selling. They know their audience. And they're not getting political. They're pulling in as many people as possible. They don't care. They've got one product to sell, and they sell it very good. Anyway, folks, I'm Laz Raider. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit the bell for notification. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.